Hey, Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for March 11th to the 18th. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week. We've got a bunch of other cards to pull out as well for you. We are coming off of that new moon in Pisces. And interestingly enough, there is some Piscean energy here starting off your reading. Because you are a water sign, you may have felt that Pisces uh, new moon a little bit more than some of the other signs may have felt. There's, whoa. There is a lot of energy here, a lot of water energy here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's, let's see. This is um, very, very powerful, actually, Cancer. That's too many. Can I just get one? No, just one. Hmm. I almost want to say that I'm getting in my feelings a little bit, but I'm trying not to. Hang on a second. Let me get your... Uh, let me get your... Uh, your reading going. I'm going to pull up the astrology for this week. Uh, I want to see if the moon falls in your sign. Hold on. Whoa. Uh, not sponsored. For those of you wondering, this is the Magic of Eye book. Talked about it before. I just want to pull up the monthly astrology. How would I say? Okay. <sighs> We're not going to cry. You have been conjuring and dreaming up something very big in your life. Um, something that is forcing you out of your comfort zone, potentially making you feel very uncomfortable. But at the same time, you know that it's your destiny. Your north node is calling. Your prosperity potential, your ability to attract and cultivate great wealth in your life, it's calling to you. It's being activated inside of you. A lot of you may have been feeling this little feeling inside that you're destined for something, that you got to step up into a greater purpose, but you're here and you don't know how to get to this next part, right? Like the next level. Um, you might feel stuck or lack clarity and what I'm here to tell you today in your reading is that the clarity, the answers that you seek will be provided to you. You simply have to take those steps. When you get that lightning bolt of inspiration, when you get that download, when something is presented to you and inside you feel that, yes, like I got to go there, Charlene, or I got to take this, or I got to do this. If you and I were friends and we were hanging out together and I said to you, you know, what's going on in your life? And you're like, I've got this weird drive to, I don't know, go take a tarot certification course or go get my Reiki certification or learn about spinal energetics or go get a psychology degree or go create art or whatever it is, cancer. My answer to you would be go, go and do it now. Do not stop. Do not question. Do not ponder. Go, go, go. Like go. Okay. I don't know how many more to say. Go now. Okay. Because source right now is gearing you up and I'm getting a little bit worked up here. I'm getting a little bit emotional because because I feel your energy brewing. I feel it bubbling inside where you're like, Charlene, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. So go, baby, go. You understand that? If you're sitting there and you're like, I'm stuck, but I don't know how, but I want to go, but I feel stuck. I want you to ask yourself, what is that fear? What is that fear? Let's unravel that fear. Let's uproot it. Let's uncover it. Let's shine a damn light on that fear. And let's get clear on what that fear is so that we can work through it. Okay? We have Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, Trust. Source is turning around and saying to you, babe, babe, you're protected. You know, I think I've told you guys this story before. Oh my God, why are we crying? 
when I was feeling the call to step into my soul purpose, to create this YouTube channel for you all and to share spirituality and be of service to you all and provide you with spiritual knowledge and sacred wisdom to help you transform your life, to step into your cosmic destiny, to do all the things that I'm doing now, I had an innate fear. How am I going to pay my fucking bills? I'm a single mom. I have one income. I have a child. We had Willow back then. Rest in peace. She's recently passed. And, and she was a German shepherd. So, you know, they ain't cheap. And, you know, I, I kept thinking to myself, there's no way that what I'm feeling called to do has this avenue for money. There is no way. Like, that is ridiculous. I need to go and get a corporate job. And I need to work in this nine to five and, and blah, blah, blah. Right? There was this stuckness on how to get to where I needed to be, which is here where I am today from where I was. And I kept resisting the change from the fear. For me, it was fear of loss of, of money, right? Like fear, fear of poverty. And then God said to me, I, you don't have a choice anymore, Shar. And he took away my job. He took away my ability to find any other role in corporate. And I was really good at what I did in corporate um, because my priority was having the freedom and the flexibility for my son. And so he put me in this position and my higher self did as well, where nothing was working out to be able to create the freedom and flexibility that I desired for my child, for my family, as a sole provider, as a single mom in this corporate world. And so he said, you, you gotta go, babe. You gotta go into your sole purpose. Was it scary? Absolutely. Did it push me beyond every level of comfort zone that I had? Yeah, I had to learn how to use new applications, new programs. I had to find a mentorship. I had to sacrifice my money. No longer could I go buy myself $300 jeans because those $300 were going to a mentor and somebody to teach me the way, to provide me with the knowledge. I had to do things that I was uncomfortable, getting in front of the camera, building relationships. I was very good at creating superficial relationships or um, acquaintances, but very much staying alone into myself. I was shy, introverted, which often happens when you experience abuse and trauma. And I had to get out there and I had to do what I'm doing now. But if you sit here and you're like, well, wow, Shar, you seem like a natural and you've been doing this for so long and you're so successful because I stepped into my soul purpose. You see, the minute that you step into your soul purpose, Cancer, the minute that you step into your cosmic destiny, everything starts aligning. It's like the puzzle pieces start coming together. Your prosperity potential is revealed. The astrology provides you with more tools. And all of a sudden, you learn to release the blockages, the fears, the limitations, and you start attracting everything. Money, stability, security, happiness. And it becomes an embodiment of you. And Source is saying you are on this path to freedom that you seek. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. First quarter, that's what we're in. After the new moon, we go into the first quarter, making decisions, obstacles, taking action, momentum. What have you been talking about? So you start off this week with the hanged man, introspection, self-reflection, and action hmm, energy, right? And then the page of cups comes into your reading to say, here is the inspired action, the lightning bolt of inspiration. That's why I said to you, when you get those downloads, go. When you're sacral, your God says yes to something, go and do it. Do not hesitate. Do not stop at go to collect your 200 because you're on your way to 2 million. Does that make sense to you what I'm saying? The king of wands here and the star card, creativity, mastering your leadership, your charisma, your ability to create what the universe leads to stardom. Stardom, baby. This is going viral on YouTube. This is being revered. This is being celebrated. This is public image. This is you being a star, a guiding light to others, a beacon of support. Queen of Cups and the Chariot. You showing up here in the Chariot, the Queen of Cups representative of the water energy, which you are a part of here. Your intuition, your psychic abilities are going to show you the path forward. You have to have the courage, the vitality, and the willpower. Do you know how strong a charioteer has to be to be able to manage the two horses going in different directions and keep them from getting him to go out of alignment mm. that's power and that power you have inside of you and how do i know that you're going to be successful in this pursuit because you have the page of pentacles 
And the page of pentacles to me is an indication that the seeds that you are planting, the more that you nurture, the more that you take care of them, the more that you honor them, the more that you love them the more that they will grow. And like I said, this isn't like, you know, making 2,000, 3,000. I mean, if that's what you want, then that's what you're going to get. But I'm talking about up there of the 10,000s, the 20,000s, the 30,000s. You know, have you done an energy audit lately, Cancer? I talked about the energy audit over on my Instagram stories, if you're not following me go okay and i talked a lot about it in the money magnet workshop as well if you want to take my pre-recorded money magnet workshop it's in the description box below i had a client who was always stuck in that like three thousand to five thousand dollar range and i had her do an energy audit and we did the energy audit together and we started seeing where she was leaking her energy giving her energy away to places that weren't serving her for her highest good Within three months of implementing this new strategy that i built for her that you'll learn in the money magnet workshop she was up to $16,000 a month. Getting to know each other. The fool. Free yourself. This is your love readings. Five of wands and the ace of wands wedding. Yeah. You want wedding. You want marriage, Cancer. But my question to you is why do you want it? Because I don't think the person that you're wanting it with right now is the person for you. I think you're more enamored with the idea of love, the idea of a relationship versus the person and the partnership and the union itself. Three of swords and the, and the knight of swords. Swords uh, and the eight of swords. Yeah. Swords is like walk away from this romantic relationship. Sana, you're healing, healing your heart chakra here. A lot of you are coming into your power after releasing a toxic relationship. This is a very powerful reading, Cancer. Very powerful. Answer the call from the universe. Source has your back. Source wants you to step into your purpose here, my love. Source wants to provide you with this wedding. But first, you got to walk away from the and free yourself from the relationships that are not serving you for your highest good anymore. And more importantly, focus on yourself. I'm going to pop this video here for you. If you want to work with me in any capacity, sign up to my free newsletter, go on my school, take any of my courses. They're all in the description box below. Did it to pick up Sana as well. We will see you later, alligators.